Hey everybody, welcome to this basic video where I'm going to be showing you how to add the sum function to your table. So follow along. Right here we have our table and I'm saying that this is about chicken nuggets. So let's say we have a bunch of people and they all order like a 50 piece chicken nuggets. So let's put 50 chicken nuggets here. And let's say that all five of these people ate them, but we want to make sure that all the chicken nuggets got eaten. So we can do total here, and then we're going to do the sum button. So right here is your functions key. We're going to click sum, and then we're going to drag it sum of all these people. So we want this sum to equal 50. So let's say Bob ate 10 chicken nuggets, Jeff ate 4, Katie ate 10, Sarah ate 12, how many would Tony have to eat in order for this to equal 50? Well, in this case, it's 14. But let's say we have, let's say we said Tony only ate 12. Well, then we know our total is only 48. So we got to find out who ate the rest of those chicken nuggets. Maybe it was Jeff. We'll have to ask him, Jeff, are you sure you only ate four chicken nuggets? And we'll move that up to six. So the sum function is great. It shows you how to add things up. Um, and this example, you know, we have the sum equal to 50. But let's say you make an error. Let's say, you know, we, we put down that KD86. Well, then we know that our total's wrong. So a total right now, it says 44, but really we know the total's bigger than that. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something about the sum function. Otherwise, I'm signing out. So see you later.